Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I have a quick video on sharing something neat about the Caesar Juliet machine. Check out the links below for the same um, video demonstration on the Caesar Romeo machine. It is just a little bit different. The information is still the same, but the sizes are going to be different in what you can cut because it is a 24 inch machine cutting width versus Juliet that's a 12 inch machine. So today I wanna to share with you how you can cut smaller widths of vinyl in Caesar Juliet without a cutting mat. This is a neat feature that is a little bit different than any other of the cutting machines like a Silhouette or a Cricut because you can cut without a cutting mat in smaller widths of vinyl than you could before. So I'm gonna switch my camera view and let's take a look at how we can do this. So this is a neat feature that I wanted to share because it's a little bit different than other cutting machines out there in that because of the way you can move uh, the rollers on Romeo and Juliet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first. So flip the roller bar lever down in the back. You can't see that, but up is locked, down is unlocked and your rollers move freely on here, these little rubber rollers. To move, you're going to grab on the front and on the back side, due to Juliet's cover, you can't see behind the machine as you can on Romeo. And then it freely slides back and forth. There are these little black textured areas on your ro roller bar. And that is where you line your rollers up. So the black textured is what that roller uses for the force that it grips the materials with. So you can move your rollers anywhere along that roller bar and position those as needed. So with the Caesar Juliet, I'm just gonna grab a tape measure here and show you, you can move those rollers and all three of them, I'm gonna move the housing out of the way here. All three of them do move. This roller is a little more difficult just because it's in a tighter space, but it does move if you do it with both hands. So you can move those anywhere along that black textured area. So if I rehome this, this right roller, or this on your left, your left roller, can be anywhere along that textured black area. So you can move it all the way to the very left or have it all the way to the very edge. I cut with a cutting mat, so I like to have it on the edge of my cutting mat, so I line it up so it's on the edge of the cutting mat when I'm loading the mat properly. So I'll position that again next time after I'm done with this video. But you can position these anywhere along that black textured mark. So if we measure between those spaces, this one is five inches between rollers, so you could cut a piece of six inch vinyl in here. If you place this roller bar on the edge of this one, and this, again, I have to move the housing on this side, but if I move this roller bar, or roller, to the edge of that black grip, rehome that, I could place a piece of vinyl that's six inches in here. You wanna make sure that your vinyl is securely under both rollers. That is going to be the ultimate determination of how small you can go. But if we look between these two rollers here, if I measure, it is two inches. So I can cut a piece of vinyl. If I put my roller over here and place this one on the edge, I could cut a piece of vinyl. This one's a little bit over two and a half inches. So this one does not fit. It's not gonna be, I mean, it barely covers under the rollers. Chances are it's not going to work well, but you can always try it because this is a scrap. I'm working with a piece of vinyl. It's about um, a little under four inches. So it's about 3.75. And if I place that in there, because of the way Juliet and Romeo work, with you loading the materials, flipping the roller bar down, and then because you move the housing to the starting location, so I'm gonna advance this material, 
and then I have to move the housing to where I want it to start. If you leave it off your material, it's going to start off your material. So I'm gonna move it to a new start location because I have a few test cuts on this. And then I can go ahead and do a test here. Now, you can see in the video, my blade housing is outside of my roller. It's on the outside edge of my roller. Caesar Juliet and Romeo are, are really great about this because they can cut outside this edge of your rollers and it still completes the cut. Now, once in a while it might catch on an edge. So far I haven't had that hap happen too often, but just test it, play around with it. We're gonna do a test cut. And then I can advance this out to see that test cut. Now, the other thing you wanna make sure of is when you have a length of vinyl that you want it fully supported on the front or the back. The machine, most cutting machines can't work against gravity. So pulling against a bulk roll or any um, heavy weight material, that could affect your feet issues. So if you are having problems, just check that, make sure. Um, I noticed because I'm doing this backwards uh, for the video, that I was leaning over top of the material and I was touching it to the desk. So it still completed the cut, but that could have affected it. Thankfully on the video, it didn't. So again, you just move your housing to your start location. And I'm going to do that one more time. Since I moved the housing, I can cut smaller widths of vinyl because I can position those rollers anywhere along those black grip areas. So I can position those in a small length, and that was two inches on Caesar Juliet between the edges of that black grip. So really you could probably go down to three inches and still be safe. Again, just test it. Test cut. I can go all the way over to the edge, and wherever I leave that blade, that's going to be the bottom left corner of where it's going to start. And then if I press rehome, it's going to go back there. Now, something to note because I've done it and I'm sure you'll do it. When you're positioning your materials anywhere inside the machine, make sure to move your housing. Don't forget to do that because when you hit send, you're going to also smack yourself in the face probably. No, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, because user error, you have to position the blade where it's going to start. And I only mention that because I've done it. Not once, not twice. I don't even know how many times I've lost count because I am just getting used to this style of machine. I'm used to the craft machines where they cut in the exact location it's located on the screen. So I thought this was a neat feature and wanted to share it with you. This is something that is possible with both the Caesar Juliet machine and the Caesar Romeo machine. You'll find links in the description below showing a demo video on the Caesar Romeo. It is a little bit different because it has a 24 inch width. Those grip areas are placed and it has more grip areas. It also has four rollers versus Juliet's three rollers. This is your roller lock lever and then your three rollers. So you do have options with this cutting machine and being able to cut smaller lengths of vinyl as you can see that's in the machine right now. This is just a chunk I cut off of a bulk end roll that I have from the vinyl spectrum. So this is a great option for those of you who save scraps. This might be a little bit small, but you could actually turn it this way and you can fit that into your machine. Just practice, just play. You never know what you can do until you give it a try. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking the knowledge I have and I'm just seeing what works. I make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes and we learn from those. So I thought this was a neat feature of the Caesar cutting machines, that it's not something that you can generally do on another brand of machine. So thanks for joining me. Check out the links in the description below for more information on Caesar Juliet and Romeo. Have a great day.